In this era of name, image, and likeness, NIL, there has never been as close of a connection between resources and competitive success. As part of your 2025 football renewal, you will see a minimum 10% talent fee. We want to be a leader. Today, UT becoming one of the first athletics departments in the whole country to position itself to pay its student athletes directly. The video you just saw there, the athletics department telling football season ticket holders they're gonna pay more. They'll see a new fee attached to the season tickets. What is it? It is a talent fee. Will Puckett following this for us here, Will. We say it often, but this is the new era of college athletics. Yeah, new era indeed. A minimum of 10% fee added to the tickets with the sole purpose of sending that money back to the athletics department and its student athletes. This is a direct result of the anticipated payment of all athletes at UT and colleges across the country and one that the school believes could start as soon as July of this next year. There's nothing amateur about college athletics anymore. Brent Hubs at VolQuest.com doesn't mince words when describing today's landscape of college athletics. It is a professional industry where there's a lot of money involved. Tuesday, that landscape changed even more when Tennessee Athletics Director Danny White revealed a new fee to football season tickets in 2025. Resources have always been a huge part of competitive success in college sports. In this era of name, image, and likeness, NIL, there has never been as close of a connection between resources and competitive success. As part of your 2025 football renewal, you will see a minimum 10% talent fee. Hubs and WVLT's partners at VolQuest were the first to report this increase. That's set to begin with next season's football tickets. I think it's always hard. I mean, I think anytime you raise ticket prices in any way, shape, or form, it's, you know, nobody likes to do that. The talent fee, White tells season ticket holders, is part of a house and NCAA settlement that's expected to result in all student athletes being paid by the university to the tune of about $22 million a year. Roughly generate somewhere between six and ten million dollars uh, of that twenty-two million dollars, roughly about a third of their cost. In an email to WVLT News, UT Athletics confirms while communicated first to those with football season tickets, single game tickets, and all sports will have the talent fee too. The cost of facilities, coaches, all those types of things are really, in, really at an all-time high and are not going down. A new look game in an athletic department now working to keep up. Again, while it's been season ticket for football, who were the first notified, it'll be season tickets and single game tickets for all sports just starts next football season. And let's circle back to this, Will. UT is one of the first schools to do this, right? Yeah, athletics departments across the country are having to keep up with this new look. Some reports out today say that Georgia has done something similar and announced that just days ago, but UT has been on the forefront of a lot of this and seemingly now getting more money into the athletic department again to start paying all athletes, not just football or basketball, all athletes in the athletic department as soon as possibly July of 2025. Yeah, it seems to be a pretty forward thinking. I wonder about department. the fans. Are they going to say, okay, good. Now I'm helping them buy sure. better players. I mean, that's actually what we're doing these days in college yeah. uh, athletics. Or will some say, okay, wait a minute, it's already too expensive. We'll find out. I, I think we'll find out. That's yeah. a good question though, how fans will react to this. All right, we'll talk it. Thank you. Tennessee